We've been doing a series of pipe runs on two inch schedule 80. We did a, a 1G rollout, an exercise where we were doing it in quarters for confidence, get you started on some pipe welding techniques. We're going into the 5G where we demonstrated the uphill weld. We did a 2G horizontal. Today we're doing the 6G. I have a standard bevel and I clean the inside of the pipe. I buff the face, uh, sanded it, wire wheeled it a little bit around the edge. And I'd probably have maybe a 30 second. I just lightly hit it with a, a disc to kind of take the burr off the bevel face there. So it's essentially a feathered edge. And I have a, a 330 second filler wire that I can't, I can almost fit it through the groove. Okay, so this is kind of, this is kind of tight. Again, feathered edge. And I'm going to put this on the leading edge of the weld pool as I come up. We're gonna shoot off an Everlast 161 STH, and I'm using a feature called Live Arc, okay? And the Live Arc is, instead of using a, a gas valve over here like on a manual torch, this is hot all the time, but as soon as I touch the tungsten to the grounded material, gas and amperage come up. I'm gonna run probably with this fit, I probably wanna go down to about 115 on my amperage. That might sound a little high, but again, we've got schedule 80 and I've got a fairly tight fit. I just wanna wash this in here, keep the, keep the wire on the leading edge of the pool. Kinda, I feel more comfortable doing that with the small bore pipe. A Couple of ways to hold the torch. I don't really wanna stop on the way up, so, I could come in here and hold it like this. By the way, this is not a flex neck, so I'm kind of rigid, and I, in a way I don't like that because I like to be able to bend this and get more straight into the pipe. But I could hold it over here like this and come up, which I may do. I could put a couple of fingers on here and come up. I've seen a lot of folks do that and do it very well. I've seen a lot of folks come in here. I've got a number five cup on here, but my gap is just almost not wide enough. And we could wiggle this all the way up. Again, it's wet, it's your comfort, you know. Let me get a ground clamp and we'll give it a go. I heat that stack up, I come up on the leading edge. I'm gonna put a little wire in here. I'm running at 115 amps. And gently rolling this wire back and forth. As I come up to this tack, I take my wire out, heat everything up, Push some wire in there and blend into this tack. And we'll snap out of it. Okay, so this concludes our root pass run, 6G, two inch, schedule 80. I ran off an Everlast 161 STH. I ran 115 amps with my fit. I ended up holding this. I wrapped this cable around my arm and I ended up holding this where I was resting the heel of my hand so I could get the right angle and the wire. It's hard to film these small bore pipes. It's hard to get the camera guy in here. So uh, anyway, this is the route, okay? And we're gonna continue on and we'll do other episodes. We'll do the fill and the cap. So I hope this helps out. I know there's been a lot of questions and comments about people getting started and they wanna pass this test. I hope this helps. If we can help you out, please uh, message us, put it in the comments. Appreciate your subscription to Weld.com. Please check us out on Facebook and Instagram.